What is going on all my fellow nerds and geeks? So I have got a couple mail calls. Uh, one is a trade and one is a pickup. The... I'll start with the pickup just because the trade, I think, uh, it's someone from that was introduced to me through YouTube. So uh, I think he wrote a note and stuff in there too. So we'll get to that one after we get to this one. And as you can see, it is a target box. Uh, kind of an interesting box. So um, I'm pretty sure this is the last Friday item that they had, which personally I was pretty excited for. Uh, yeah, I just, I right when they said, you know, the little hint they gave, which was like a a uh, martial arts legend or something like that. We knew that it probably wouldn't be Bruce Lee because they already had bait, had a bunch of Bruce Lee pops. It is Chuck Norris. So check this thing out. This is awesome. It actually looks like a uh, ammo box, which is extremely cool. Uh, I'm hoping that the pop is okay inside. I'm always worried about these things. You know, you get these boxes. Uh, you see the top there actually says Chuck Norris and it has the little, uh, if it'll focus. So it actually looks like the top of a box there. So, and I keep all these boxes. I don't know why. I don't know why I keep them. Uh, I just, do. I've got a whole bunch of these boxes. They did have a bunch of these actually at Funko HQ. I think they still have some in like smaller sizes, uh, like the medium and small, I believe. So, um, yeah, like I said, I was actually pretty excited for this. I mean, the, the thing looks all beat up. I just love it. I love it. I think it looks so cool. Uh, I thought it was a cool way to end their their uh, Friday giveaway things. So we will start with the shirt, which I mean, who doesn't want a Chuck Norris shirt? So looks like it is a gray shirt. And you have got Chuck Norris on there. Trying to see, make sure you guys can see what I can see. Um, so, yeah. I mean, the color on this shirt is amazing. Uh, I like that it's gray. It would have been really cool if it would have been like the military green, kind of like the one that's on the package. But, I mean, you can't go wrong with that shirt. Come on now. That's, that's just amazing. So, probably one of my favorite shirts out of one of these boxes. So, then we get into the pop and looks like it is pretty good. There's one little dingy on the top, not a big deal, uh, but there we go. We have got Chuck Norris, who is not focusing. Let's get close to his face, there you go. Um, so, I love this box too. This is an amazing pop, I think. I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong with this. We're gonna pop this guy out because we have got to see this up close for sure. So my dog is right here next to me, kind of going crazy. I came right home, wanted to open these things up just because I was pretty excited for this. And then the, the trade I'm pretty excited for too. The box is a little dinged up on the outside. So I'm hoping for the best. Looks like the the uh, mailman did a number on it. Oh yeah. That is amazing. So there you go. You've got Chuck Norris with his guns. He's got the open hairy chest on there. Uh, The Uzis are actually like a gunmetal color, I think. Like, they're not actually black. They're kind of like a gunmetal gray. Um, 
they just did amazing on this pop. This pop is amazing. So there you go. You've got Chuck Norris being blurry as heck. Come on. I don't think he's going to unblur. It likes my face too much. So there we go. We've got Chuck Norris. Um, oh man, you can even see the detail on his belt buckle. That is super, super cool. So very excited for this pop. I was super happy when they, that, that was a good, a good way to end it, I thought. Um, so then getting into the trade that I did. So um, I love, I wanna kinda show, so I love that he actually put nerd smithing on there. So uh, very cool. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see the box is a little crunched up. So we will see how the pop inside looks. I'm hoping for the best. So, and this was from, like I said, a viewer named Brendan who uh, has messaged me before and we decided to do this trade. He, I traded him my extra Crunchberry Beast. Um, I actually gave him my personal one because it was a little bit better uh, in better shape than than the other one not by much but but just enough and I can definitely respect a uh, inbox collector because I, I have been known to be pretty picky about my box so uh, I believe he said there would be a note in here so I'm going to do my best to uh, not butcher it I'm not the best at the reading stuff so um, so we have the note here so this is actually my first ever note from someone. So that is really, really cool. And so he actually has it in a pop, but I don't think this thing's damaged at all. So, um, he's got it in the Sasha Walker's box, which that is not what this is. So here we go. This is what we've got. It is the Notorious B.I.G. Imagine in Benz is giving ends to my friends and it feels stupendous. Tremendous cream. I'm the man, girlfriend. I love it when you call me Big Papa. Throw your hands in the air if you's a true player. And it is the Toy Tokyo exclusive. And it is amazing. So, um... I am gonna actually pull it out of here because I wanna see, I've seen them up close, but never out of the box. So the box is perfect. It's got the Toy Tokyo sticker. You've got the Notorious B.I.G. So I still need the orange chrome Batman out of this set, but I did work a deal with someone, you can see what the other two versions look like, uh, to get the orange chrome Batman. So I am just awaiting to finalize that deal so we will look at the pop and then I will get into the note. Like I said, that's my first note from a viewer. So uh, we have talked a ton. Before we even did this trade, we started talking a bunch. Uh, he got me involved into one of his Facebook groups that he's a part of. So that was really cool. Um, and oh yeah, this is, this is a really cool pop. So, there you go, you've got the Notorious B.I.G. So I mean, they even went as far as to get the, uh, the logo on the side of his sunglasses. It's not gonna focus very well. There we go. So, um, a lot to focus on on this pop, but it is definitely amazing. They did a great job on this. Uh, I did miss out on the original uh, B.I.G. pops, so this was really cool when they re-released them, and I was figuring out which one. I didn't want to get all, both of them, or all three of them. I was gonna get the, the uh, black jacket crown, but when I got this offer, this deal, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna definitely trade so really, really cool. I definitely love it. It'll look great in the collection. So now let's get on to the note. So let's see, to Andy, thank you for helping me complete my Cap'n Crunch set. I hope you enjoy this pop. 
It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you and an honor having you in my Facebook group, Funko Town. So check out the Funko Town Facebook group. Uh, thank you for all you do for the Funko community and loving your channel every day. Keep up the good work and hit me up anytime you need a hand. Uh, appreciate you, brother. Brendan, a.k.a. Deathstroke. So, very, very cool. Thank you, Brendan, for this trade. I am super happy. I'm glad I could help you out with that one. I'm glad I had two and one of them was in good enough shape that you, you were down with it because uh, um, it's definitely a cool one to have. I, the the uh, Country Beast definitely completes that set. So, there we go. We have got the Notorious B.I.G. And we have got... If I can get him out of here, Chuck Norris. So those are the mail call slash pops for the day. Um, like I said, this is my first letter, and dude's got some great handwriting, by the way. Holy cow. Um, yeah, great handwriting. So uh, I'm going to figure out something to do with these. I am probably here very soon going to get my own P.O. box just because I've had other people ask about sending me stuff, and stuff like that. So I would like to get a peel box set up just so that I can, um, I love getting letters and, and stuff like that. I love interacting with the community as much as possible. So that is it for this episode. Uh, I'm going to probably do a live stream this weekend to break all this Christmas stuff down and talk about the 1000 subscriber giveaway, even though I'm up to like almost 1200 now. Um, it happened right before Christmas and just Christmas, Christmas happened and it was just a lot of craziness going on before Christmas. So thank you everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at nerdsmithing to see any up close shots. And as always, stay awesome people.